I'm so glad you guys are here. I wanted to start today with a story. It's been a couple of days since I have read a story. I felt like today was a great day to do that. Jackie and Ellie, hello, welcome back. It's so good to see you guys here. This is day seven of our 30 day yoga challenge. You guys have shown up every single day. Your body and your mind and your heart is getting so strong. I bet you can feel it. I bet you can feel your body and your heart and your mind getting stronger one day at a time. Today, we are going to talk about star pose. It is a super fun, super cool pose. We will talk about it in class and I'm gonna post a video on YouTube so you can go home and practice it whenever you want. But first, like I said, we are going to read a story from one of my favorite books called Unstoppable Me. Unstoppable Me. 10 ways, 10 ways to soar through life. Soar through life, that means you're kind of like flying out into life. You're like kind of flying and going fast and you're just kind of attacking life, which is what you guys are doing. I know you are. I know each and every one of you and I know that that's exactly what you're doing. Ah, okay, I'm gonna go with number nine. We've already read seven. Oh yeah, this is really fun. Okay, creativity. That means using your mind and your imagination. When it comes to your greatness, creativity is the key. I mean, it's like the secret because with it, there's no limit to what you can be. Being creative can mean so many things. It's finding your own way to meet the challenges life brings. So if you have ideas for your own way to shine, just stay true to yourself and you will do just fine. I love, I love that. I love when it says being creative can mean so many things. It's finding your own way to meet the challenges life brings, right? So challenges that life brings, that means that sometimes things don't go as expected. Things are unexpected in life. For example, us being at home and not getting to be at school and seeing our friends. That is unexpected, but it's how you handle the unexpected that is going to help you shine. And you will do just fine. And you will do just fine. You guys. And this is actually, this is a kind of a fun thing that I'm gonna read, right? I don't usually read the little comments on the side, but it says, I love to be different and wacky and wild. Dad says I'm his creative child. Like when I make a cake, it's unique and fun. I don't always do things the way they should be done. It doesn't matter to me if people think I'm strange. I am unstoppable. I don't need to change. I like this because she's doing cooking and I know a lot of you guys have been in the kitchen all day yesterday and today and we got the little puppy making a mess and having fun and being creative. And that yummy, that cake looks yummy. Mm -hmm. Number 10, what can you give? And I know this is something that Mills and I have been talking a lot about. What can we give? How can we give to people that, that need it? So let's see what this book says. What is a life full of meaning and purpose? One that's truly limit free. 
it's when you look to, it's when you learn to look outside yourself and not always think, what about me? Not always think, what about me? To think about other people. It means seeing goodness and beauty everywhere you turn and taking every experience in life as a chance for you to learn. It's being at peace every day with a respect for all things that live and not wondering what you can get, but wondering what you can give. It's not wondering what you can get, but wondering what you can give. I love that line because I think about, I'm getting a lot of things I'm feeling so happy in my heart to be practicing yoga with you guys every day and that I have yummy food in my kitchen and that I have a very comfortable house. But I think I'm getting all these things. How can I also give that to people that maybe don't have those things or maybe need something else? Let's see what this says. Dane asked my grandpa, what brings you joy? I answered, candy, of course, or a brand new toy. He smiled at me and said, I'm sure that is true, but there is much more than that that can bring joy to you. Love and friendship and learning to give will make your life fulfilling and a pleasure to live. Maybe some of you guys feel like that. I know I do. Love and friendship and learning to give will make your life fulfilling and a pleasure to live. <sighs> I just love that book. Hi, Sarah, welcome to class. Thank you guys for sharing those really special and important words. I hope that you go off and do something really creative today that you're fulfilling for yourself and something that you can give to somebody else. All right, let's start our stretches over on our mat. Do you guys have a water bottle? Make sure you have a water bottle for class. I've been drinking a lot of water because I have been doing so much yoga, probably like you guys. And it's always good to have the water nearby so that when you get thirsty, you can take a big sip. Give you guys a better view. Deep breath in. Ah, let it all out with a rainbow breath. Deep breath in. Let it all out with a rainbow breath. One more time. Deep breath in. And let it all out. You know, usually I come to yoga class with you guys and I've already